to you live from Southern California. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to roll. Our starter in this one, Shohei Otani. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Now at the plate, Brendan Donovan. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And away we go this afternoon. Just off the outside edge. Now 2-0. And that's in for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Righty to the plate. Pitch misses. Three balls and a strike. Right through there for a strike. Oh boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. And that's ball four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. And that one fouled off. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. And a swing and a miss. And one away. And now the right fielder, Lars Newtbar. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Otani, the former rookie of the year, he throws a slurve, a four seamer. A cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Donovan, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. That misses the zone. Going to count one and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine. Quick feed to second for one. On to Freddie. Double play. Nothing doing here this half. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. here at Chavez Ravine and on the hill here today it's Sonny Gray well the hammer is in effect and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count what I love about him you get into the later innings of the ball game and the velocity seems to go up here's Mookie Betts he's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game this guy hits for contact so he delivers average but there's on base and slugging too. The wide to kick the pitch. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well.
kicks and fires. The shortstop takes the ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Freeman hits it in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. And with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Boog, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. This looks like that's for bases, and that's going to roll to the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So, man aboard, Max Muncy at the dish. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boog, light tower oh. power. That's right. They always want to come out in the first inning, try to put something up on the board. It's a big two-out double right there. See if the cleanup man can drive him in and put a tally up there on the board. And here it comes. There's the strike. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. here at Dodger Stadium. Top of the second, and now the veteran third baseman, Nolan Arenado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Otani back to work. Bounce to the left side. Bats up with it. In the hole. Jump throw. And they get Arenado for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Otani, 29 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Mark Ball there one. and the count one and two. It's a good take. Righty delivers. Three. Struck him out looking. Here's Nolan Gorman. And there's a the ball. tied up here at the top of the second. Yeah. 
Next nope. pitch is downstairs. Two and oh. Good nope. eye in that Outside. spot. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Down to three and two. Two outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Left hand hitter waits. And down on strikes. St. Louis goes down in order. Nothing across here this half. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in L.A., bottom of the second. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. The right-hander back to work. That one finds the zone. 1-1. One, one. Gray, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slur, a curve, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. Well, I didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. 0-2 now. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Teoscar Hernandez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Hernandez, 31 years old, he joined the team as a free agent. And a pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. One gone runner at first. Chris Taylor now. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for a second. It's in the dirt. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. The pitch. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone. But usually if you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release ball. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Taylor out of the play. Two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to make it up for it in his next at bat. Here's Jason Hayward. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. 
Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Safely into second, he's got a double. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. That can be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. And now it's Gavin Lux. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Runner at second, two down. Bottom half of inning number two. Ball. Just missed. One ball, one strike. Tapped in front of the plate. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Dodgers with a run scoring double. It's now a one nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. On to the third inning, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Jordan Walker. Otani back to work. Inside and that's hole. off the inside edge. 1 and 0. Oh. Looking to get the tying run on base. That's in. Ball two. Fall off foul. That one missing inside. Tommy Edmond in the St. Louis on deck circle. And a pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. Going along. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Here comes the 0-1. Little chopper rolls foul. Wouldn't chase that time. Way to lay off that pitch down. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Now up for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. Just missed. And the pitch. And there he goes. That's in for a strike. And safe. It's a stolen base. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open, backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. So the lineup flips over. Brendan Donovan next up for the Cardinals. Walked to open the ball game. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swings, and he breaks his bat. Sends it across the first, and that is the inning. The cards leave one. 
and it remains one nothing. Ready to go for the last go. half of the inning. And now it's Mookie Betts. That's shortstop. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The wind of the pitch. That one out to right. Newtbar makes the grab on the run. Up next to the Dodgers. The first baseman, Freddie. Here comes Freddie Freeman, Freeman up to hit. He's 0 for 1. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. And there's a foul ball. Base is empty one away here in the last half of the third. Lifted in the air out to left. Walker gets under it. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting, the catcher. Will. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Doubled his first time up. Slapped foul. And a pitch. And that's outside. And that's ball one. And another ball. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Way inside, and that hit him. You never want to see a pitch that close to someone's head. Lucky right there, his shoulder got in the way. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. He was a strikeout victim his first time. There's a strike. Two outs. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Goldie gets under it. He makes the grab, and that is that. So the Dodgers leave one, but they're on top, one nothing. Start of the fourth, leading, off, the leading off, Paul Goldschmidt. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie-in run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Late swing, fouled off. Next one misses, and the count is one and two. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. A gigantic blast. And we are all tied up. It's 1-1. One, one. That one just sounded different. Man, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. 
So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. And up next for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. He hit into a double play his first time up. And that one is in the dirt. And that is ball one. The pitch. Hard ground ball base now. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. Everything came together for him. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, cut out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Here's Nolan Arenado. Grounded out his first time up. Right down to shoot. It's 0-1. And that one goes straight to the backstop. So a wild pitch has the runner to advance. And he deals. Wouldn't That's chase point. that time. The pitch. That That's one missed. Three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 1 count. Right side. And a base hit. The go ahead run moves up to third. He's held there with nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. Just a simple ground ball the other way, but had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Caught looking his first time up. And that one fouled off. At the belt and fires. And a good eye there. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Here's the swing and a miss. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Next offering is downstairs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So he needed a strike out there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. Now it's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. Right through there for a strike. Oh, one's the count. With the go-ahead run in third, top half of inning number four. And fouled off. Popped in the air, left field. Squeezes it, runner tags for home. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning.
Well, as a former outfielder, I love this play. When you get the opportunity to throw a guy out at the plate, makes the catch as the runner tags and a laser throw to the plate on the money for the double play. It's time to go hit. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the fourth, and now the center fielder, James Outman. The wind of the pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Contreras on to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Hernandez in the box now. Takes strike one. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Good oh, eye right there. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Misses, and the count is two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Line drive. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Two out spaces empty. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Dodgers down in order. Score remains deadlocked at one. And deals. And it's oh one and one. Bounced out to short. To first. Oh, one away here in the fifth. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. She delivered a good play right there. Yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. Struck out swinging his first time. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Yeah, that's outside, and that's ball one. One down, base is empty. Oh, that's out. 
Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. In there at the knees for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. One out, base is empty. Now a high fly ball out to left center. On his way over. Puts it away for the out. Now, now it's the shortstop. Mason Wynn. Old for one as he popped down foul to third his first time up. Just off the outside edge. Ball one. The shortstop takes the ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Riding to the plate. Bounce to the right. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. Score remains tied 1-1. The wind of the pitch. And oh, ball one to the right fielder. Oh. Next offering is down low. That one lifted to left. Walker moving under it. Pulls it in. One away. The batter, number nine. Second baseman, Gavin. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Grounded out his first time. And for a strike. One one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Yeah, the righty deals. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next pitch inside, and it's one and two. And another ball. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Wouldn't chase that time. Mookie Betts waiting for a turn at the plate. Why to kick the pitch? In there! Got him looking for the K. He's got to be frustrated with that call. A big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Betts lays off down low as he takes in for the third time. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Two 
Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. And here it comes. Just off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Freddie Freeman hitting on deck circle. Payoff pitch. Got him swinging. That's the third out, and we'll play extra innings in this one. Dodgers go down quietly. Still tied, 1-1. Dodger Stadium, top of the sixth inning. Now it's the DH, Brendan Donovan. Otani back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Man at second. And that's outside. And a count even one and one. And another ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Three balls. Way high. Paul Goldschmidt up next. Fouls one away and now three and two. Left hand batter waits. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. He's already homered in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. Here comes a pitch. Runner takes off for third. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Save. In this game, you got to take what the other team is giving you. And right there, they were giving him a steal of third base. Didn't check his lead. Catcher doesn't throw very well. So you've got to take that back. Get your team that much closer to scoring a run. Win stands at third with one gone in the inning. Next pitch is downstairs. And yeah, the right hander deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Righty delivers. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And the count's full. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Outside, and that is ball four. One down. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Nootbaar. One for two. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. It's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And that one fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Here's Nolan Arenado. And that 
pitch in there for strike one. pitch popped up sizing this one up makes the grab and that's the third out so they strand a pair two three four due up in the home half of the sixth all tied one one Well, we go bottom six. Now the number two hitter, Freddie Freeman. And a pitch. And fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Fought off foul. the ground and it's just foul that was close kicks and fires a little bit high ball one I don't like to say he wasted a pitch I think that was a purpose pitch change the eye level have him look up now go back exactly where you want to go Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's the first down. The batter now will be Will Smith. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. The winning run on second base. In the air, left field. Walker gets under it, pulls it down, and there's two gone. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Here comes Max Muncy. Pitch misses there. One and oh. Inside just missed. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you. So make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Man on second, two down. And there's the strike. The 2 1. And a curve is down and in. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Right hander kicks deals. Ball four, he walked in, and that'll keep the line moving. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. So digging in, James Outman. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. Winning run in scoring position with two away here in extra innings. And there's a the ball. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. 2-0. 
two on two outs and that is in for a strike two and one now. And another ball. Teoscar Hernandez waits on deck. A little out front there as he swings through it. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. And that'll load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. That one's in there. That's strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count, as he did right there. Winning run at third, two down here in the bottom of the sixth. Next pitch is inside, and now it's even one and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Andrew Kittridge up and throwing. Middleton also getting ready. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Line drive. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Top of inning number seven, and now the Cardinals catcher, Wilson Contreras. And the right hander back to work. And ball one. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. And he's winning a miss. One ball, two strikes. pitch that misses the zone two and two gets a piece and stays alive down the line and that is a foul ball. Swung on, belted. On its way. And gone! A massive home run. And that's how they take the lead. It's 3-1. No doubt in my mind, just about everybody in this ballpark holding their breath on that one. I tell you, just barely snuck it inside the foul pole. And talk about a huge swing. That's it in this ballgame. Could be the biggest swing of this ballgame. We'll see. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. 
Otani will depart to run ball game as he heads for the dugout and will be back with a new pitcher. On the mound now, Daniel Hudson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Nolan Gorman next up for the Cardinals. That one is upstairs. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. In for a strike, and it's one and one. Nobody on, nobody out here in the top half of inning number seven. The punch out there. That's the first out in the top of the seven. Oh, man, just locked him up with that slider, even though it caught a lot of the zone. And I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Walker up for the third time here watches that one miss action in the pen down there Joe Kelly looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts and the pitch back up the middle and a base hit so a man aboard now with one away Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up. Out. No, he's safe. And now here is Tommy Edmond. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And it's strike two. Two, ball, two, strikes. two runs across in the inning and here in extra innings. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Field two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. That one drilled left field. Hernandez makes the catch inning over. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Cardinals three, and the Dodgers one. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Ryan Helsley. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The designated hitter. Taylor. And he deals. This one popped up. 